Hi, my name is Sean Smith from South Coast Yachts, the Beneteau dealer here in San Diego, California. Today we're going to take a look at a 2009 Beneteau 49 Sail La Vie. Come with me and join me on this tour as we walk through and take a look at the boat. Sail La Vie is a Beneteau 49. This is a very popular model. The cockpit in this boat is very large with a twin wheel setup. You can see here we've got cushions out. This boat was loaded very well uh, when new and has some great aftermarket additions like this aftermarket Cato uh, outboard engine crane. So you've got a little davit here to put your outboard engine on that bracket. There's an EPIRB here on the transom. Very nice Bimini and Dodger with a connector that's currently stored away. The boat has teak tow rails. This boat was also ordered with a rub rail, which is really nice. And as you can see, the hull shines. It's been kept very clean. Let's see, clean bottom. The boat has an electric windlass, a um, furling Genoa with a new UV cover sunbrella that was put on. There's a tack line currently rigged. The boat has a North Sails asymmetric cruising spinnaker included, which is inside this forward bow locker that has a ladder getting down, great sail storage. On all of the hatches, there are some umbrella covers to protect those Luxan hatches. There are stainless steel cleats, inboard shrouds, making it nice to walk forward holding onto the shrouds. Both sides of the boat have boarding gates here, but the easiest boarding for the Beneteau 49 is this aft swim platform. There is a swim ladder located on the starboard side, just in board of the shore power connection. And this locker here opens up where you can store a life raft. Just to port, there is a, sh a shower door. Your propane storage is underneath the cockpit floor here. Good location. And this door here closes off. So when you're sailing, you can have a safe closed cockpit. But having that flip up, it's very nice for boarding the boat. Nice, easy walk through transom. The uh, port side here has um, your wind speed depth and also a uh, wind instrument from Raymarine. There are electric Genoa winches and an electric cabin top winch. Three electric winches on this boat. Very nice cockpit here. As I pan around, you can see these very nice cushions with even backs for the driver so you can lean outboard comfortably. Very nice pillows. Everything matches with the blue and white. The cockpit table has a Raymarine E120 chart plotter. There are fold up leaves on either side to make a dining table as well as storage in the middle and an LED lamp that goes into the forward end of the table. The starboard side here is your primary home station. This is where our Yanmar diesel control is located. Starting to stop the engine there, throttle control, your autopilot control here. You can. This is a multi-function, you can put depth, you can put various information, speed, wind, heading, the bow thrust control is just outboard, and then an electric winch control here as well. Very simple setup, makes the boat easy for a captain to basically single hand. I really like this series Raymarine for the rudder indicator on the autopilot. See just at the bottom when I turn the wheel, it shows how many degrees the rudder is to either location. Of course, compass is located at each helm. And then we'll take a quick walk up forward. There are very large Genoa tracks here that are, have adjustable leads. You can see the varnish work here. It's beautiful, well kept. I like the style of that um, Bimini and Dodger. Traveler on top with the newer main sheet. The standing rig is in very good condition. Up and forward. Here's the sail storage, the more electric windlass, and then there are your chain and road. There's a ton on this boat. 
Let's go take a look down into the interior. This boat has three cabins, two heads. It also has a generator. One thing I really like about the 49, you have opening companionway doors and then only four steps coming into the boat. So very easy access inside the boat. You can see it's beautiful inside. Great color combination with the wood and the navy blue upholstery, which is in great shape. There are two TVs in this boat. One, of course, on the forward bulkhead, and then another in the master cabin. Master cabin has this big center line berth. Convenient to get in either side, which is nice. Lots of storage, and you have a little desk here. The TV that I was mentioning is brilliant in this boat. Since this is a curved um, compartment for the head, there's a TV overhead. So you just press this button and you have a TV that folds down. Very brilliant aftermarket addition for the Beneteau 49. The forward master cabin has its own private head. See there's a hella fan. But the um, toilet up here is an electric Jabsco head. And there is a separate shower stall, which is really nice. It's got this round glass that slides around to make that enclosed. There's an opening overhead hatch, and all of the ocean air hatches in this boat have either a screen that folds out one direction, or a shade the other direction. Coming back into the salon, you see a nice settee here. Nav station just aft, with the generator control, VHF radio, your charging um, control, your AC and DC panels here. Very simple to operate in this boat. Everything, all your lights, navigation, water pressure, refrigeration, real simple and labeled well. Stereo control and also for the TV. Down below you can switch between your generator and the shore power. This is a nice aftermarket addition uh, upgrading the breakers and then also a um, Sony uh, disc changer underneath the chart plot, the chart table. The salon table is very large, comfortable, uh, but also drops down so that you can have an additional berth. Inside the aft cabin, there are a couple filler cushions, which conveniently store and go on top of that table when that's configured as another berth. The aft cabins both have large berths, as well as hanging lockers, good amount of storage. Inside the galley, you also have a lot of storage. I really like these cabinets here. You've got a microwave, three burner, stove top, and oven. This is your freezer compartment, but you also have a front loading refrigerator here that has a small freezer on top. There are two stainless steel sinks. A good amount of storage underneath. And then this is really convenient as well. There are cutlery, which is conveniently located near the salon table, as well as a couple of sliding drawers for food storage underneath. The starboard side aft has a large guest cabin. A really great thing about this cabin is it's connected to the aft head. So there's a door here to enter the head, as well as in the salon. You've got another electric jobs go ahead located here. Lots of light in here, but you can also cover all of these uh, port windows with the curtains. And then you've got a separate shower stall. Very nice configuration. The last thing I'd like to show you is the engine compartment. Yanmar turbo diesel with a Raycor fuel filter. Thank you so much for joining me on this quick tour of the 2009 Beneteau 49 Sail La Vie. Contact me right away to see if this boat is still available and to get on board yourself. I really look forward to talking to you soon.